Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Paul, behind the camera, doing the magic. That guy in front, his name's Brendan. He's going to be doing the illustrations. And this is our tutorial on directories. Let's do this. All right, let's say we have a directory called homework. And inside of it, we have dot file, dot dot, a dot out, and main dot out. Main dot cpp, my bad. The open dir system call takes in a directory name as its parameter and opens a directory stream corresponding to the directory name. So if we do open dir on our homework directory, we open homework as a directory stream. How we access the stream and its contents is through a dir pointer, let's call it derp, that points to the first item in that directory stream. So, derp now points to our dot file since that is the first item in our directory stream for homework. So now that we have access to the first item in our stream, we would like to have access to the file's attributes, such as name, size, etc., as well as have access to the other items in our stream. So, how do we go about doing this? The read dir system call returns a durant pointer. If you guys don't remember, durant is a struct that provides the attributes. You can look up the man pages for it. And this durant pointer represents the directory entry denoted by our dir pointer. And it also positions the directory stream to the next entry. So in our case, when we call read dir on derp, read dir returns a durant pointer which we store in durant p, giving us access to the file's attributes. At the same time, read dir also repositions the directory stream pointer to the next entry in the stream. So, as you can see in our while loop, we access the name of the file by dereferencing our durant structure, and since we are in a loop, we come back to the read dir call, which has since incremented to the next entry in our stream. We do this process for each entry into the stream until read dir returns null, and our while loop is no longer true. And once we've accessed, once we've see outed all the names of our files, we are now done with the stream, so you have to remember to close it. That's a wrap.